She said, your arrogance makes you bad in bed. And he said, well, you used to seem to let me like you did when you first met me. And she said, I only wanted, you know, and you were quite good looking. And he said, oh, no. <laughs> and I know you didn't mean it when, when you said I was bad in bed, because I've seen the way you shudder from your toes to your head. And she said, do you think I'm so stupid that I can't pretend? And he said, yes, <laughs> I do. I did. There was an awkward silence of a minute or two. He looked into the air and she stared at her shoes until she plucked up some courage and she raised up her head and she said, Can you tell me what exactly you're trying to do? Can you tell me what exactly you're trying to prove? Convince me that I'm stupid. I'll come running to you. Well, ain't that the truth? Because I do. I do. I do. And she said, Your passive aggression really screws with my head. And he said... <laughs> so she said I hope you don't expect to get in my bed again and he said you know as well as me it's a matter of when don't pretend I'm your last chance or you'll end up on the shelf and she said you've really got the knack of knowing how to offend and he said I know I do I do I do there was an awkward silence of an hour or two. He switched on the telly for something to do. She went into the kitchen to dry off her eyes and returned to the room and she said, You should have left here about an hour ago. You know, it's half past ten, you know, it'll happen again. We'll end up in bed and I'll wake up in the morning and I'll feel like nothing and you'll walk out that door with that smug expression like you nailed me again. It's like a nail in the coffin of my self-respect, of my self-esteem. Look what you're doing to me. Your arrogance makes you bad in bed. Your arrogance makes you bad in bed. Your arrogance makes you... Bad in bed, your arrogance makes you bad in bed. That crack about his arrogance had dented his pride. The challenge was set tonight, he'd show her the night of her life. And the less said about that night in her bed, the better. The less said about that night in her bed, the better. The less said about that night in her bed, the better. Four years on, she stood at the church, she sees the aisle, she sees the altar, and she sees him, and it makes her think, I'll alter him. I'll alter him. A few moments later, a song and a sermon, and she's uttered the words, bound herself till death to honour and serve. Because she said, as one in twenty women said when asked, she said that she had been raped, not by a stranger, not by a friend, but by somebody other. She said that she had been raped by her lover. She said, I did. <laughs>